These are the November 2023 horoscopes for all 12 rising signs. Also, be sure to check out everclear.com and the link in my description below. They have my personal favorite tarot readers and psychics. I highly recommend getting a reading from one of their skilled advisors. Also, I recommend getting a monthly forecast in the form of a tarot reading or psychic reading from them. Aries Risings, from October 2nd to October 3rd, you are going to have very good luck when it comes to your finances. So you can expect a lot of financial abundance to come into your life around the first week of October. You'll find that you may be saving a lot more money. You may find ways to make more money or you may come up with new strategies that will one day be successful in generating more wealth for you or you may come up with new investment ventures for example that will prove to be profitable later down the line or you may be receiving a very high return on an investment so definitely expect to secure the bag during the first week of the month specifically around the second to the third for four months you likely struggled with your mental health so over the last four months you may have found that things were particularly stressful or you had a more challenging time dealing with day-to-day -day life or you may have found that you were completely depressed or drained of energy this is because we had saturn retrograde in your 12th house however from november 4th and onwards this is finally going to end spiritually you are going to be feeling a lot better and you are going to feel a lot more energized and a lot of your mental health issues are finally going to go away from the third to the fourth Fourth, you want to watch out for spiritual attacks so perhaps you engage with people and they're not sending you good energy or they're wishing bad upon you also you want to watch out for deception in the workplace as well this doesn't necessarily apply to everyone but if you found that you don't have the best working environment you could fall prey to being a victim to people who want to take advantage of you in the workplace or there may be people who don't have the best intentions with you when it comes to the workplace so just watch out for that potentially being an issue during the first half of the month specifically around the sixth to the the seventh you'll be able to generate large amounts of wealth in your career as well so you may find that you have more obsession or passion when it comes to your career or pursuing your dream career so you will have more motivation and this will lead to you being able to find ways to secure the bag so you can expect to find new methods in your career which are really going to help you get ahead in the workplace from November 8th all the way to the end of November you are going to have Venus in your Libra seventh house of romantic relationships so Venus is the planet of love of beauty harmony abundance and it's in your seventh house of committed relationships and partnerships so from the eighth all the way to the end of the month you can expect your romantic relationships to be absolutely harmonious you may meet someone new or you may be getting along very well with someone in your romantic life this is also a time where you are going to be more attractive in your love life so this is a great time to put yourself out there in your love life and to try to meet someone new this is a time period where you will have better luck meeting someone if your love life is inactive right now so definitely put yourself out there in the dating scene things are more likely to turn out positively for you in your love life or things are more likely to work out your way when it comes to your love life from november 10th to the end of november you will have mercury in your ninth house your sagittarius ninth house of travel and education so you can expect to have more talks when it comes to traveling so perhaps throughout the month you are going to be making major travel plans so you may be planning to travel with your friends for example also there may be major talks or discussions when it comes to your educational plans or you may find yourself putting a lot more effort into your studies which will result in better results in your studies as well so you may find yourself getting good grades and on the 12th there's a new moon in your eighth house of finances investments so your investments should be flowing very well around this time so this is an optimal time if you were trying to invest in a new venture also this is a very spiritual time as the eighth house also represents the occult so you may find yourself reconnecting with your spirituality this is a very powerful time to manifest as well you're also going to be extremely psychic around this time as Scorpio is a very psychic sign and it's in your eighth house of occultism so definitely trust your intuition trust your gut around this time I would recommend pulling out your tarot deck for example you may even be clairvoyant so you may find yourself receiving messages from the universe in your mind around the 11th to the 12th you may find yourself becoming a little bit more stressed than usual when it comes to handling your finances so perhaps there are more responsibilities when it comes to financial management and you may find that this is a little bit disruptive so more money more problems basically during the second half of the month particularly between the 15th and the 21st you are going to be extremely passionate when it comes to your financial ventures so this is a time period where you can expect massive financial growth whether it's from your investments or from your job finding ways to generate more wealth from your job finding a secondary stream of income so this is a time period where you are really hustling and you are going to have so much ambition and motivation 
motivation when it comes to your finances that you will definitely find a way to boost your wealth. Also watch out for people trying to swindle you out of your finances during the second half of the month as well. There may be people who try to scam you for example. From November 23rd all the way to December, you are going to have the sun in your Sagittarius ninth house of education and travel. So during this time, there's going to be a very large focus on your travel plans. So you may be making major travel plans for the winter holidays. So many of you are going to be traveling somewhere or you may be making major educational plans. There may be a very large focus on education. And this is also going to lead into exam season. So you may find yourself really hustling when it comes to your studies. And on the 27th, there is a full moon in your Gemini third house. So you are going to be extremely productive around this time you are going to be getting so much work done and out of the way so you may be finally finishing off your work projects or you may be finally finishing off a school project Taurus Risings, during the first week of the month, you are going to have a lot of good luck, which comes as a relief because back in October, things may have been very intense. You may have had to let go of a lot. You may have been in a lot of emotional distress, but the first week of November should be extremely positive for you. So you are going to be extremely attractive, so you can expect to attract a lot of attention. The spotlight is going to be on you during this period of time. Also, you're going to be more attractive in your love life. So there may be a lot of passion, intensity, or excitement that is coming into your love life for example you may be meeting someone in love or you and your romantic partner or romantic interest may be getting along very well there may be very deep bonding during this time also you can expect to have a massive boost in your reputation so you are going to feel seen by a lot of people you're going to be gaining major recognition for your accomplishments and the work that you do overall you are going to be shining during the first week of the month over the past four months there could have potentially been difficulties amongst your social group so perhaps you didn't get along with certain friends or things may have been stagnant when it came to your friend groups or socialization however from november 4th and onwards this is finally going to change and you'll find that your social groups are a lot more harmonious and you'll be able to bond a lot better with your friends and things will be a lot more fun and exciting when it comes to friendships and socializing networking will be a lot more successful from november 4th and onwards after four months of potentially having difficulties when it comes to socialization or not leading the most active social life or having issues with friends. So expect more fun and harmony in your social life and it may be easier now for you to make friends. However, from the third to the fourth, you wanna watch out for possible deception from your friends. So if you do have a friend who is deceptive, you may catch them in a lie or you may catch someone in your love life lying to you as well. So just watch out to people who may be manipulative, trying to lie to you around this time period you may be able to spot out liars during the first week of the month if there is someone bad in your life but if there isn't anyone manipulative in your life this isn't necessarily something that you have to worry about just if there is this is a time where you may be able to catch someone lying or trying to gaslight you so this will either be someone in your love life or a friend also during the first half of the month specifically around the sixth to the seventh expect a lot of obsession passion and intensity in your love life so you may find that things are getting really heated up in your love life and you and a romantic interest or you and a romantic partner may really have deep bonding going on so you can expect a lot of passion in your sex life and for some of you nothing may be happening in the love department not everyone is in a relationship worth talking to someone so if that's the case this is a really good time to put yourself out there in your love life and to try to connect with someone or meet someone new because you are going to be a magnet for love you are going to be so attractive that this is a really good time to pull in potential suitors from november 8th to the end of november you are going to have venus in your libra sixth house so you can expect things to go very well in the workplace so during this time you may find that you're extremely productive at work you have a great routine going you'll be getting along very well with the people that you work with or you may even find ways to advance in the workplace so this is a really good month when it comes to your career and having harmony in the workplace also your health is going to significantly benefit during this time so you may find yourself putting in the work to perhaps improve your diet or exercise regime or to make sure that you're sticking to a good schedule of looking after your diet and exercise and this is going to lead to improved health or being able to hit certain health targets such as being able to hit a certain weight or grow a certain muscle group 
for example. So this is a really good month when it comes to your health and when it comes to good things happening in the workplace. And from November 10th to the end of the month, you are going to have Mercury in your eighth house of investments. So this is going to be a really good time to talk about your finances and to figure out financial strategies, investment strategies in order to boost your wealth. So there may be a lot of talk, a lot of conversation that will help positively impact your financial situation. On the 12th, you have a new moon in your Scorpio seventh house, which is so exciting for your love life because this is in your seventh house of romantic relationships, committed partnerships. So new moons are all about new beginnings. So for some of you, you may be meeting a new romantic interest. So someone you may be coming into your life that you may enter a relationship with. For others, this may mean that there's renewed passion and excitement in your love life. You may be going on a very exciting date with someone or you may find that you are bonding with someone that you are interested in and you and a romantic interest are furthering your relationship. This is also a really good time to put yourself out there, meet someone new in your love life if there isn't anyone that you're talking to. Also, during the second half of the month, there may be unexpected or exciting or sudden things or events happening in your love life, so watch out for that. And during the second half of the month, more specifically between the 15th to the 21st, you are going to have Mars, the planet of passion conjunct the sun in your seventh house, your Scorpio seventh house of relationships. So again, there's going to be so much passion and excitement in your love life. So definitely expect a lot of happy obsession there. And from the 23rd going into December, you'll have the sun in your Sagittarius eighth house. So this may be a time where there's a major focus on your finances, on investing. And this is also a great time for making money as well. On the 27th to close the month, you have a full moon in your Gemini second house of finances so you may be ending a huge financial chapter during this time for example you may be paying off a major debt or you may be making a major financial decision which should ultimately be positive for you in the long run this should be positive for your financial situation in the future Gemini risings during the first week of November things are going to be moving along very nicely in the workplace so you'll be getting along very well with your co-workers you'll be getting your work done in a timely fashion and you may even advance in your career as well so overall there's a very great outlook for your career during the first week of the month so you can expect success you can you can expect to be content and happy at work also during the first week of the month you're going to have massive improvements to your mental health so a lot of your anxiety stress and depression is going to be stripped and you're going to be feeling a lot better emotionally over the past four months you may have had some struggle in your career so you may have found that things were slowing down in the workplace perhaps you weren't getting as many sales as you usually do. For example, if you run a business or you're not performing as well as you normally do in the workplace, or you may have felt very drained when it came to your career and tired, or you may have felt you were working extremely hard. So there could have been some difficulties, challenges, and delays when it came to your career for four months. But from November 4th and onwards, this is finally coming to an end because Saturn will be stationing direct in your 10th house of career. Beforehand, it was retrograde in Pisces. So from November 4th, onwards for the rest of 2023 things are going to be looking a lot more positive for your career and you'll finally be able to get things going in the workplace you'll be performing better in your workplace it'll be easier for you to perform better make more money to advance in the workplace as well and you won't feel so held back at work or you won't have so many challenges and struggles so things are going to be a lot more smooth in the workplace in your career moving forward during the first week of the month you're also going to be very passionate when it comes to your finances so you you may be placing a larger focus on budgeting, making sure that you pay off your bills, for example. So this will lead to improvements when it comes to your financial situation. Also during the first half of the month, you can expect beautiful, harmonious relationships with your family members. So there's going to be a lot of joy and harmony and very good connection between you, your parents, siblings, relatives. So this is a really good time to just bond with family as these relationships are going to deepen and you'll be getting along most likely with everyone in your family and from November 8th to the end of November you are going to have Venus in your Libra fifth house of romance and creativity so Venus is the planet of abundance beauty harmony which means that you are going to have all of these things applied to your creative endeavors and your romantic life so your dating life is going to be a lot more exciting fun and passionate so if you have a romantic interest or a romantic partner you can expect things to really heat up and you're likely going to go on 
fun dates with them or have exciting moments. So you can expect greater intensity between you and a romantic interest or partner. You can expect there to be wonderful bonding. So things should be fun in your love life or this would be a really good time to put yourself out there in the dating scene if there isn't anyone that you're currently talking to as you are going to be a lot more attractive in your love life. Also, you are going to have massive creative inspiration. So this is a great time to turn your creative endeavors into a success or to gain recognition for your creative work. So if you're into acting, singing, or into social media, for example, you do something creative, this is a great time to put your energies into your creative work to turn them into a success. And from November 10th to the end of the month, you will have Mercury in your Sagittarius seventh house of committed relationships and partnerships. So there's likely going to be a lot of action and a lot of talk surrounding your romantic life. So you may find yourself putting in a lot of effort when it comes to dating someone or finding people in your love life. And on the 12th, there will be a Scorpio new moon in your sixth house. So you can expect new beginnings when it comes to your career and your health So you may find yourself venturing off into a new career direction or you may be making beautiful new relationships with your co-workers So expect positive new events to take place in the workplace You may be beginning a new career project, which is going to launch into a success in the future For example, also you may start a new health or exercise regime So you may be doing new things to your fitness or diet plan, which is going to lead to you becoming healthier, being able to hit your goals. And also you'll be establishing a better routine as well. So you'll be creating a much more structured lifestyle for yourself. You'll be a lot more productive. And during the second half of the month, specifically between the 15th to the 21st, you will find that these new beginnings that you made in your health, as well as your career are really going to flourish and turn into a success. So during the second half of the month, you'll find that you're really following through with this health fitness regime and this is going to lead to you becoming healthier, hitting those fitness goals. Also, you'll find that you're carrying through with doing better things in your career, perhaps working on your career project or becoming more productive in your career and this will lead to more career success, more career recognition. So things are going to be looking very positive when it comes to your health and your career and your relationship with your coworkers during the second half of the month. And from November 23rd going into December, you are going to have the sun in your seventh house of committed partnerships and relationships so during that time you'll find that there may be a lot more action taking place in your love life you're going to be very attractive in your love life so you may find yourself meeting new people again or you may find that things are really taking off in your love life you're starting to form deeper much more committed bonds and finally to end the month with a bang you have a full moon in your sign gemini in your first house so you can expect to gain a lot of recognition around this time you are going to be the main character the spotlight is going to be on you so you'll be attracting a lot of attention also you're going to have a major glow up around that time so you may be elevating your appearance for example you'll be hitting a lot of your goals but you're also going to be letting go of your old life so this is a time of major sacrifice where you are really ready to let go of everything that you have to let go of from 2023 in order to move into 2024 with a fresh new chapter cancer risings during the first week of november things are going to flow very nicely in your love life so if you are in a romantic relationship you'll find that you are bonding very well with your partner or if there's a romantic interest that you're talking to you may find that things are running very nicely with that romantic interest or if there's no one in your love life the first week may be a very good time to put yourself out there in the dating scene to try to meet someone or attract someone new into your life also things are going to be looking very positive in your social life during the first week of november so this is going to be a very good time to connect with friends meet new friends and to be successful socially, to become more popular. And this is a great time for networking as well. This is also a great time for chasing after your higher dreams and goals. So if you work towards your dreams, this period of time will really help you turn your dreams into a success. Also from November 4th to the end of November, you'll be doing a lot better in your studies with higher education. Also, you may finally have opportunities to travel or traveling should be fun, which comes as a relief because perhaps over the last four months, you didn't really have the opportunity to travel or even 
even if you did travel, traveling may have had some difficulties or challenges that came along with it. Also over the last four months, there could have possibly been challenges when it came to your studies and getting good grades. So expect things to become a lot better when it comes to your travel plans or when it comes to education. Also between the sixth and the seventh, you were highly affected by Venus trying Pluto, which is going to bring a lot of passion and intensity into your love life. So if you do have a romantic partner or romantic interest, you may have a night of passion with them, for example, or you may find that there's a lot of obsession between the two of you where things may get very spicy and exciting in your love life. During this time, expect to be extremely productive when it comes to getting mundane tasks and work completed and out of the way. So you'll be getting a lot of stuff done. And again, your love life is going to be a very passionate. From November 8th to the end of November, you are going to have Venus in your fourth house of home and family. So you'll be getting along very well with your family members. This is a great time to connect with siblings, relatives, your parents. So you can expect to form and establish deeper bonds with them. Your bonds with them will be very harmonious. Also, you may find yourself making major plans when it comes to your home living situation. For example, you may be refurnishing your place, redecorating it, or you may be making plans to move. So this is a great time to make any decisions when it comes to your home. So buying furniture or deciding to relocate. Also from November 10th to the end of November, you are going to put a major focus into your career. So you can expect to have major conversations when it comes to your career plans, and you can expect to really put a lot of effort into deciding what you are going to do career wise or what your high career goals are going to be. You'll also be putting a lot of effort into restructuring your health and fitness routine. So you are going to be making moves or you're going to be having major conversations when it comes to what you can do differently to improve your health and your fitness. On the 12th, there's a new moon in your fifth house of creativity and romance. So new moons are all about beginnings, which means that you may meet someone new in your love life, or if you have a partner, you may go on a very fun and exciting date. So there may be a lot of action or new exciting beginnings taking place in your romantic life or you may find that your creative endeavors are taking off or you're partaking in new creative endeavors that are going to take off. So expect new things to happen when it comes to your love life or your creative projects. And this is going to lead to success and advancement in your love life and your creative projects going into the second half of November. So coming off of this new moon, you'll find that if you are with a romantic partner or you just met someone new during the second half of the month, you'll be establishing a deeper bond with that person or there may be a lot more passion and excitement going into your love life during the second half of the month. Also, if you are working on a creative project, you'll find that going into the second half of the month, your creative project is really moving along nicely. You have a lot of creative inspiration. And from November 23rd going into December, you are going to have the sun moving into your Sagittarius sixth house, which means that from that point forward, things are going to be very well when it comes to the relationships that you have with your coworkers and harmony in the workplace. So you'll be very happy in the workplace. Things should be flowing nicely. There may even be advancement in the workplace and things will be going very well when it comes to your health and fitness routine as well. So you can expect to become a lot healthier from that point forward too and to do things that will improve your routine and allow you to lead a much more energized and balanced lifestyle. And to end the month, you have a Gemini full moon on the 27th in your 12th house of mental health and addiction. So you can expect to finally rid yourself of an addiction. So this could be an addiction to drugs or even an addiction to bad habits or negative thought patterns. And you are really going to be clearing your head of a lot of things that have been disturbing your mental peace. So you'll be ridding yourself of anxiety or past traumas that have been haunting you. And you can expect a major cleanse in your spiritual energy, which will allow you to lead a much healthier mindset. So expect a major purge of the things that have been destroying your mental health in 2023 at the end of the month. Leo Risings, during the first week of the month, things are going to be going very well when it comes to your career. So you can expect major career advancement, or you may find that you're gaining a lot of career recognition and you are gaining a lot of attention as well. So you'll have a good boost in your reputation. So overall, things look very positive when it comes to the workplace. If you're in business, for example, you may find that you're making more sales, you're able to generate more wealth, more money. Also from November 4th to the end of the year, you'll find that things become 
become a lot better when it comes to investments or just your finances in general, managing and budgeting. Also, you may have had blocked intuition over the last four months, but from November 4th to the end of the year, you'll find that your intuition really clears up. So you'll become a lot more psychic in a way where you're able to pick up on messages. You're able to see situations clearly for what they are. During the first half of November, specifically around the 6th and the 7th, you'll find that things are going extremely well in your career and with your finances. So these will be directly correlated where you were having a major boost in your career or you were finding new ways which will allow you to generate more wealth. So financially, you're going to be doing very well. Career-wise, you're going to be doing very well and the two are going to go hand in hand. So you are going to be securing the bag. The first half of November is a really good time for you to turn a major profit and because you'll have a lot of wealth coming your way, you may find that you are able to splurge on a luxury item. So you may find yourself spending a lot of money as well because there is a lot of money coming your way. From November 8th to the end of the month, you are going to have Venus in your Libra third house. So you are going to be extremely productive this entire month. You are going to be getting so much work done. So if you feel like work has been piling up or like you've been unproductive before and that's been messing with your routine, you are really going to establish such a good routine this month that you are going to be on top of your work. You'll be able to create a much more balanced lifestyle. You'll be able to live a life that is so much more structured. And you can also expect to do a really good job at work. So you'll be putting out really good work and that will also lead to very good work recognition too. And from November 10th to the end of the month, you are going to have Mercury in your fifth house of dating and creative projects. So you can expect to put a lot more effort into your creative works as well as into your dating life too. And you'll also find that communication with a romantic interest or with a romantic partner will be very good as well. So you may be able to finally gain some clarity with a romantic interest, or you may finally be able to see eye to eye with a romantic interest because you're having great conversations and things are getting out into the open. And on the 12th, you have a new moon in your fourth house of home and family living situation. So new moons are all about beginnings. So expect new beginnings to take place with your family members. So there could be major events taking place in your family. So watch out for what's happening in your family life. Also, many of you may be looking to relocate around this time as well, or many of you may be moving. Some of you may even be buying new property. Also just expect major new beginnings in your life in general. So new beginnings, perhaps in your love life, career finances, etc. So this is going to be a very pivotal point for creating a new chapter in your life. Also during the second half of the month, watch out for major events taking place in your home and family life as well. So there could be major things happening with your family members, or there could even be potential conflict. So again, just watch out for things that are happening in your family life. Also during the second half of the month, you can expect to connect with your spiritual side. So you're likely going to be very in tune with spirituality and your intuition is likely going to be opened up as well. Also from November 23rd going into December, you were going to have the sun in your fifth house of dating and romance, creativity. So you can expect to put a very large focus into your dating life, into your creative endeavors. And that is going to be a main topic going into December for you. That is going to be a very main focus. So from the end of November to December, expect major things to start taking place in your dating life or with your creative projects. And finally, to end the month on the 27th, you have a full moon in your 11th house of friendships, group organization. So you may find yourself going to a major party or social event so there could be something very exciting and fun happening in your social life or some of you may even be letting go of a friend who isn't meant to be in your life anymore so there may be something major happening when it comes to your social life Virgo risings during the first week of the month you can expect things to go very well when it comes to your productivity getting work done and out of the way so you'll be getting many mundane tasks completed and you'll be successfully completing your work project so you'll be very proud of the work that you put out out into the world you'll be doing a very excellent job also there may be new opportunities opening up for travel and you may be discussing travel plans around this time and if you are traveling during this time your travels should be chef's kiss amazing also many of you have been struggling in your love lives since March and especially over the past four months you may have found that you were very disappointed in your love life or there was conflicts or challenges that were arising or things may have just been very stagnant and disappointing 
disappointing in your love life over the past four months. Perhaps there was a lack of excitement or passion, but I'm happy to announce that from November 4th and onwards, things are going to become a lot better when it comes to your love life. So from November 4th to the end of the year, you won't have so many challenges in love like you did over the last four months, and you'll be able to bond a lot more nicely with your romantic interest or romantic partner, or it'll become easier to meet people in your love life. Whereas over the last four months, perhaps you found that it was difficult to meet people or you just weren't clicking with your romantic partner. Around the sixth to the seventh, but more so during the first half of the month, you may find that there is a lot of passion and obsession between you and a romantic interest. So things may be getting very spicy in your love life, or you may find yourself obsessed with a romantic interest. And likewise, this romantic interest may also be obsessed with you. So this is a great time for excitement and love and deeper bonding in your romantic life. You yourself are also going to be extremely attractive during this time. So you are going to have a very strong magnetic pull on other people. So whether this is in your love life or even just in your work life, in your friendships, people are going to be drawn to you. You are going to be so attractive. And around the 6th to the 7th, you may find yourself wanting to make a very large splurge. So you may spend a lot of money on luxury items, or you may spend a lot of money on going out because you can afford it. Also from November 8th to the end of the month, you'll have Venus, the planet of abundance in your second house of finances. So that's a bit self-explanatory. You are going to be securing the bag. Money is going to be flowing easily and effortlessly to you. So your pockets are going to be filling up and you may find new ways to secure more wealth or you may find that you're doing very well in the workplace which leads to more generated wealth but no matter what it is you do you can definitely expect a major raise in your wealth from november 10th to the end of the month you will have mercury in your fourth house of home family living situation so you can expect a lot of conversations to take place with your family members and there will be a lot of discussions when it comes to home and family and just dealing with family matters on the 12th there is a new moon in your third house so you may be starting a brand new work project around this time communication will flow very nicely around this time also you may be establishing a much more productive better structured routine for yourself as well during the second half of the month you are going to be doing an amazing job at work any new work projects that are began during this time are going to work out very nicely in your favor you're going to be productive on time on point so the work that you put out is just going to be absolutely perfection so your productivity your motivation is going to be unmatched you are going to be very consistent when it comes to getting your work projects or mundane tasks done on time so that is going to lead to a lot more structure which is going to also lead to improved success that is going to tie into work success as well and this is probably why you're going to be making a lot of money this month this is one of the most financially successful months for you and that is going to be tied into you being more productive being more efficient your love life may also be very romantic and dreamy specifically around the 16th to the 18th so that would be a really good time to schedule a date from November 23rd to December you will have the Sun in your fourth house so during that time there's going to be a very major focus just on your home and family living situation so perhaps sorting out details when it comes to your home living situation so perhaps sorting out whether or not you're going to buy or sell property for example if you're going to relocate live elsewhere there will be a major focus on just looking after your family members too or connecting with them, forming deep bonds with them. And at the end of the month, on the 27th, there is a full moon in your 10th house of career. So you may finally finish up a work project around this time. You may be celebrating something in your career. So expect major events to take place in the workplace that will ultimately be positive. Some of you may even be leaving an old job too. So there's going to be some sort of ending, some sort of closure, or perhaps some sort of major event taking place in the workplace. But don't worry, this isn't anything that will be negative ultimately in the future this is going to result to positive things libra risings during the first week of the month things are going to be flowing very well when it comes to your financial situation so you may be finding new ways to secure the bag your investments should be performing very well so you can expect some sort of major boost in your wealth or you may be able to hit some sort of goal when it comes to your finances from november 4th and onwards things are going to flow a lot more nicely in the workplace so over the last four months you may have had issues when it came to workplace matters such as difficulties or conflicts with co-workers or perhaps difficulty sticking to a routine and getting work done however things are going to be flowing a lot more easily and smoothly in the workplace from november 4th and onwards because saturn will be turning direct 
Also during the first week of the month, watch out for confusion. So perhaps you're not really sure what's real and what's not real and you may have some intuitive blocks. So try not to overthink things. From November 8th to the end of the month, you'll have Venus, the planet of abundance, beauty and harmony in your sign in your first house. So you're gonna be a very lucky sign this month. You are the luckiest sign this month. Things are going to be going your way. You're going to be extremely attractive. You're going to have a massive glow up. You'll be attracting a lot of attention and you will easily accomplish a lot of your goals. So a lot of your manifestations are finally going to start coming your way this is really your month to flourish in all areas of your life whether it's your love life career social life finances so this is a really good month for getting on top of your stuff and making things happen the way that you want them to from november 10th to the end of the month you will have mercury in your third house so expect to be a social butterfly this month as well you're likely going to be extremely extroverted you're also going to be very productive this entire month so you are going to be getting a lot of work done and out of the way you will be improving your routine to lead a much more productive lifestyle. On the 12th, there's a new moon in your Scorpio second house. So this is really good for your finances. So there may be some sort of new financial opportunity or there may be a new financial beginning. You may be able to find a new stream of income or find a new way to boost your wealth. So there will be positive things happening when it comes to your finances. During the second half of the month, specifically between the 15th to the 21st, you are going to be hustling when it comes to your finances. You are going to be extremely driven when it comes to raising your wealth and this new beginning that you had on the new moon on the 12th is going to lead to you being able to boost your wealth during the second half of the month and really see you securing the bag. So you're going to be extremely energized. You're going to have newfound motivation and ambition when it comes to hustling to secure the bag and raising your financial wealth. So things are going to be looking very positive when it comes to your finances, especially during the second half of the month. From the 23rd all the way to December, you will have the sun in your Sagittarius third house. So during this time, you are going to be putting a lot more effort into your work projects you're going to be very productive so you're going to find that because you're improving your routine your productivity and you're staying consistent from the end of november going into december you are going to be doing a very good job when it comes to the work that you put out and the quality of the work that you put out which is going to help boost your success as well and that's going to also be tied into you raising your wealth and being able to boost your finances and to end the month you have a full moon in your gemini ninth house on the 27th so around this time you may be making major plans for travel so some of you may be going on a trip in which case the trip should be very fun and exciting also there may be a lot of talk or a lot of commotion happening around your educational plans or your studies Sagittarius risings during the first week of the month things are going to look very positive for you when it comes to your work as well as your mental health so you'll find that because you're having significant improvements in your mental health you are going to be performing a lot better in the workplace things are going to be a lot more harmonious in the workplace for example, you may be getting along very well with coworkers, or you may be able to improve your day-to-day -day routine and productivity, which will lead to better a better work output. Also, you may be getting ahead in the workplace. So that will be very tied into you being able to relieve a lot of the stress, anxiety, and depression that has been burdening you over the last couple of months. From November 4th and onwards, Saturn will be stationing direct in your fourth house of home and family. So if you've had any issues with your family members over the past four months, you can expect those issues to be alleviated to finally start going away from November 4th and onwards until the end of the year. So any issues or complications with family members are going to ease up. During the first half of the month, specifically around the 6th to the 7th, you may be splurging a lot of your money. So you may be making very lavish purchases. And this is going to be tied into you being able to do better in your career, which is going to result in you being able to usher in more financial wealth. So as a result, you may be making some sort of lavish purchase and things should be going very well in the workplace you're going to have a renewed sense of passion when it comes to raising your wealth and doing better at work from november 8th to the end of the month you will have venus in your 11th house of friendship social connection so you can expect to be extremely extroverted throughout the entire month your social life is going to be very fun for example you may be going out a lot with friends you may be making new friends networking is going to be extremely successful so you may be going to parties with friends so things are going to be very happy when it comes to your social life you're going to be very popular also this is a really good month for making your higher dreams and ambitions come true so if you have a higher goal which is outside of your career aspirations for example for example if you want to become a content creator or a singer this is one of the best months out of the entire year to work towards that in order to make that come to fruition and from november 10th to the end of the month you'll have mercury the planet of communication in your sign so again you are going to be extremely popular during this time expect to be very extroverted 
So this is going to be a month of socialization, putting yourself out there, boosting your reputation, becoming more well-known and integrating yourself into social groups or into society. On the 12th, you have a new moon in your 12th house of spirituality and mental health. So this is going to be a very great day or a great period of time for your mental health. A lot of your stress, depression, and anxiety is going to be alleviated. So you'll be able to create a much more peaceful mind state. Also, this may be a very spiritual day for you as well. So you may be reconnecting with your spirituality too. And during the second half of the month, specifically between the 15th to the 21st, you're going to see a continuation of this boost in your mental health as well. So this entire month, especially during the second half of the month there's going to be a very large focus on doing things to make yourself feel better mentally and emotionally to let go of things that may have been mentally draining you or exhausting you emotionally so overall your mental health is going to drastically improve and by the end of the month you are going to be a renewed person and from november 23rd going into december the sun is going to be in your sign so it's going to be sagittarius season so of course from that point forward you are going to be the main character the spotlight is going to be on you you'll be attracting a lot of attention and you will find that a lot of your goals and ambitions are finally coming to fruition so a lot of your manifestations are finally going to be coming your way you are going to be accomplishing a lot and from the 24th to the 27th you may be extremely aggressive around that time so just watch out for your behavior i see that you may be very motivated as well and you may be aggressive in your pursuits of success however this may also come at the cost of engaging in conflict with other people or engaging in drama. And to end the month on the 27th, you have a full moon in your seventh house of committed relationships, partnerships, business partnerships. So you may be ending a business partnership around this time. You may be closing a chapter in your romantic relationships. This could be a breakup. It doesn't necessarily mean a breakup. If you're in a happy relationship, this could mean that you are closing out toxic patterns or it could just mean that you were having a significant event happening around your love life. So you may have a wild, passionate, fun night out with a romantic interest. So expect major events to take place in your love life some sort of closing of a chapter potentially happening in your love life or with business scorpio risings during the first week of the month expect to be a lot more attractive and this will lead to you having a boost in your love life so you may be able to attract potential suitors or if you're in a relationship with someone you'll find that things are flowing very nicely in your love life so you are going to be the spot you are going to be in the spotlight during the first week of the month you are going to be the main character and you are going to be able to accomplish a lot of your goals and and that will also be tied into things flowing very nicely in your love life as well. So you being very attractive and putting yourself out there in a positive manner is also going to lead to you being able to lead a much more happy and harmonious love life too. From November 4th all the way to the end of the year, you'll find that things are flowing a lot more nicely in your love life. Over the past four months, you had Saturn, the planet of restrictions and delays in your fifth house of dating as well as creative endeavors. So over the last four months, you may have found that things were particularly challenging or difficult or disappointing in your love life or even with your creative projects perhaps you lacked creative inspo but from november 4th to the end of the year i'm happy to announce that you're going to have more creative inspiration it'll be easier to work on creative projects and put them out there into the world and do a good job at them and also your dating life is going to ease up and become a lot more harmonious a lot of the struggles and adversity you faced in love is finally going to go away and it may be easier to also meet potential partners as well during the first half of the month specifically around the 6th to the 7th, you'll find that your relationships with your friends are going to be very harmonious. So your social life should be very fun. You'll be getting along very well with the friends in your life. From November 8th to the end of November, you are going to have Venus, the planet of abundance, harmony, beauty, in your 12th house of mental health and addiction. So this is a really good time to rid yourself of any addictions that have been plaguing your life. For example, addictions to bad habits or addictions to alcoholism. So this is a time where you can really rid yourself of that. Any mental health blocks as well are going to be lifted. So during the entire month, you are going to have significant improvements to your mental health. This is one of the best months out of the entire year for getting rid of negative mental blocks and getting rid of negative mental health issues that have been plaguing you in 2023. So you're going to be able to create a much more peaceful mind state. From November 10th to the end of the month, you are going to have Mercury in your second house of finances. So throughout the entire month, expect to have a lot of conversations or a lot of planning when it comes to your finances and building up your finances. So there's going to be 
a very large focus on taking a plan of action towards building up your wealth and making financial budgeting strategy. And on the 12th, there is a new moon in your sign Scorpio. So this is a great time for new beginnings of all kinds. You're really going to be stepping into a new chapter of your life and you can expect new exciting things to take place. So new exciting things that you've been waiting a long time for. Perhaps you've been waiting a long time to start a new work project, for example, or to start a new chapter when it comes to your love life. So expect something very exciting to come into your life. Also, this is a time where you are going to be the main character. You are going to be attracting the spotlight. All eyes are going to be on you and you are just going to have a major boost in your reputation and there will you will start having the beginning of the manifestation of a lot of your goals and dreams. And then coming off of the new moon going into the second half of the month, specifically around the 15th to the 21st, you'll find that this new beginning that you had on the 12th on the new moon is going to flourish into some sort of abundance coming into your life during the second half of the month. So something that you've been waiting a long time for that you're very passionate about is finally going to come into your life. So expect really good news, expect the manifestation of something that is very important to you to finally start coming into your life. And again, throughout the second half of the month, you're going to be the main character, all eyes are going to be on you. So you are going to be enjoying the spotlight throughout the entire month and during, especially during the second half of the month. But you're also going to be a bit feisty and aggressive during the second half of the month too. So even though things are going your way, you are going to be a bit of a drama queen. So try not to engage in unnecessary conflict with anybody. So conflicts, arguments, and being extremely feisty are things that could arise for you during the second half of the month. You're also going to have a very large surge of energy during the second half of the month. So you will have increased levels of energy, ambition, and motivation, which are really going to drive you towards, again, the manifestation of your goals and making things happen for yourself becoming successful so again this energy is really going to propel you towards what you want in life also during the second half of the month specifically around the 16th to the 18th you are going to have a very strong aura so you are going to be extremely magnetic for people so people are going to be extremely attracted to you you're going to be very sensual in a way so you are going to be able to easily draw people into you also you are going to have a lot of creative inspiration as well so this is a really good time to get out your creative projects creative work and from November 23rd going into December you are going to have the sun in your second house of finances which is going to be very good for your financial situation so from the end of November going into the end of the year you'll find that you'll have a boost in your finances there will be a very large focus placed on boosting your wealth as well so you are going to be hustling to get to the bag and you will be securing the bag and then to end the month, you have a full moon in your eighth house of investments and occultism. So you may be extremely psychic around this time. Definitely trust your intuition during the end of the month. Also, you may be ending some sort of investment venture. So there may be some sort of final closing of a financial chapter. Capricorn Risings. During the first week of the month, things are going to be flowing very harmoniously, smoothly, and beautifully when it comes to your social life as well as your love life. So there should be harmony in love with your friends as well. From November 4th and onwards, you are going to have a massive increase in your productivity. You'll be able to stick to a much better routine, create a much better schedule for yourself. You will be a lot more efficient and productive, especially when it comes to getting work projects out, which comes as a relief because over the last four months, you may have found that there was a decline in your productivity. It may have been difficult or challenging to get work projects out in a timely fashion or to do a very good job at your work projects. So you're definitely going to be a lot more productive. You'll have a boost in your energy, which is going to allow you to do a much better job when it comes to the work that you put out. Also, communication will run a lot more smoothly over the next two months as well. During the first half of the month, you are also going to be insanely attractive as well. And you may find that there's more obsession and passion in your love life. So you are going to have a very strong magnetic pull on the people around you, whether these are lovers, romantic interests, friends, even just the people in your immediate circle, they are going to gravitate towards you. You're going to have a re renewed passion for life during the first half of the month. So expect things to be very exciting. Expect you to have a lot of fun in your life, perhaps going out, for example, having fun, passionate dates. So there may be increased obsession and passion in your love life. Also, many of you may be planning a major trip around this time. You may be planning on spending a lavish amount of money on going on a vacation, or some of you may even be traveling on a very lavish vacation during this time. 
From November 8th to the end of the month, you will have Venus in your 10th house of career, and Venus represents abundance, beauty, harmony. So you can expect things to flow very well in your career from November 8th to the end of the month. You may have an increase in your income, so you may be able to find ways to make more money in your career. A lot of you will be advancing in the workplace, but you'll definitely be gaining a lot of recognition for your work. So like I mentioned before, you're gonna have increased productivity, and that is going to be tied into you doing better in the workplace and getting ahead at work so expect very positive things to take place in the workplace also throughout the entire month you can have you can expect to have a boost in your reputation so if you're trying to become more well known in your work for example if you were a real estate agent you're trying to get your name out there this is a really good month for putting yourself out there and becoming more famous in a way or becoming more well known improving your reputation boosting that reputation from the 10th to the end of the month you are going to have mercury in your 12th house and mercury represents communication your 12th house represents represents spirituality, your mental health. So you're likely going to have a lot of talk when it comes to your mental health. So for some of you, maybe even going to a therapist or you may be confiding in the people that are close to you and getting things out into the open. And there may be friends, family members, or relationship partners who act as a mental support system for you. So expect a lot of mental support around this time and to be able to get things out into the open, to be able to speak about your traumas, for example, or speak about things that have been negatively impacting your mental health and that in a way is also going to help you cure and ebb your mental health too. And on the 12th, there is a new moon in your 11th house of friendships, social interactions, uh, group organizations, associations. So some of you may be joining a new group. So for example, you may be joining a club or a new group organization, and you may be joining a nonprofit organization, for example. Many of you may be making new friends around this time too, or you may be hanging out with friends around this time, going on exciting little adventures with your friends, for example, going out with them. So expect positive, new, exciting things to take place when it comes to social activities, group organizations, or friendships. This is also a really good time to just put yourself out there socially. You're going to be very extroverted, and this is also going to extend into the second half of the month, especially around the 15th to the 21st. You'll find that your extroverted ambitions are going to lead to you being able to really shine socially. During the second half of the month, you're going to be very popular. You're going to really be standing out when it comes to social settings. Networking is going to be very successful, but one thing that that you want to watch out for is potentially being aggressive with certain friends so if you are having any issues with friends or a friend there could be potential conflict or drama there if you don't have issues with a friend then that's not necessarily something to worry about also during the second half of the month you're going to be extremely spiritual so you may have some sort of spiritual awakening you may be reconnecting with your spirituality your intuition is going to be on point so trust your gut and you can perhaps practice meditation or yoga around this time this is such a good time for spiritual pursuits or even whipping out a tarot deck and playing with tarot or anything related to the occult. And the spiritual awakening is also going to lead to you being able to live a much more healthy mental uh, mind state as well. And from November 23rd going into December, you will have the sun entering your 12th house of mental health. So again, there will be a very large focus on just looking after your mental health and getting rid of the things that have ca been causing you anxiety. So by the end of the year, you will find that you are renewed mentally and a lot of the mental stressors that were burdening you in 2023 are just going to completely fall away you're going to be a renewed person and you'll be able to get over a lot of traumas that may have been ruining your life or causing you unnecessary mental stress and on the 27th to end the month you will have a full moon in your sixth house of health and your co-workers your working situation so you may be ending some sort of chapter in the workplace some of you may be leaving your old job in order to find a new job some of you may just be finishing up a work project for some of you this may just be a major party in the workplace so there could be uh, some sort of event happening in your work and and for some of you, you may be ending some sort of chapter in your health. So you may be letting go of bad health patterns, such as eating too many snacks, eating too much chocolate, and you may be renewing the way in which you look after your health, which is going to lead to better fitness, better health in the long run. Aquarius risings, during the first week of the month, you can expect things to go very well when it comes to your family members. So you'll be getting along extremely well with family. You'll be bonding with them very closely. Also, things will be running very smoothly in the workplace. Many of you will be getting ahead at work or you'll just 
just be putting very good work out there and things should be very happy when it comes to work and the work that you put out and again some of you may be getting ahead in your career also over the last four months some of you may have had some difficulties or stagnancy when it came to your finances so your financial situation may have been very difficult to overcome for some of you you may have had a lot of debts to pay off or you may have found that you were spending a lot of money it was hard to save but from November 4th to the end of the year any financial issues that you had are finally going to ease up if you had any financial issues at all if you don't have financial issues you're just gonna find that it's much easier to make money and look after your finances from November 4th and onwards it'll become easier to secure the bag this is because over the past four months Saturn retrograde was directly impacting your second house of finances now Saturn is turning direct in your second house of finances so again any financial burdens that were stressing you out previously over the last four months are finally going to be alleviated from November 8th to the end of the month you are going to have Venus the planet of abundance harmony beauty and just good luck in general in your ninth house of education and travel so during this time many of you may be traveling in which case your travels are going to be so fun so this is one of the best months out of the entire year for you to travel if you are able to take time away to travel which is why so many of you will be planning a trip around this time or even if you're not traveling many of you, many of you may be planning a trip as well also your education will be flowing very well so you can expect to do extremely well in your studies there may be very good positive educational news coming your way from November 10th to the end of the month Mercury is going to enter your Sagittarius 11th house so you can ex you can expect to be extremely extroverted throughout the entire month you're going to be very social you'll be a little social butterfly this may be a time where you can make new friends networking is going to be very successful so expect to really put yourself out there into society to integrate yourself into society any communication is going to work out well in your favor you're basically going to become a lot more popular and on the 12th there's a new moon in Scorpio in your 10th house of career which is beautiful for your career so you can expect really good news in regards to your career some of you may be gaining a promotion or you may be advancing in the workplace you'll definitely be gaining a lot of recognition in the workplace around this time and there may be some sort of new positive beginning so some of you may be starting a new job a new dream career some of you may be finding new ways to get ahead in your career or you may be looking for new ways to make more money so expect positive new beginnings in the workplace during the second half of the month specifically around the 15th to the 21st you are really going to be hustling in the workplace you will have renewed energy passion ambition and motivation when it comes to the work that you put out doing well in the workplace so again this new beginning that you have in your career around the 12th is going to extend into you performing extremely well in the workplace having that increased motivation and overall there are just beautiful things happening in your career during the second half of the month you'll be aggressively chasing your goals in your career and from the 23rd of November going into December you will have the Sun in your 11th house of friendship social organizations group activities so there will be a very large focus from the end of November to December on your friendships your social life and socially things are going to be going very well you'll lead a very exciting active social life you'll be making new friends perhaps and to end the month on the 27th you have a full moon in your faith house of dating and creativity so there may be some sort of major event taking place in your love life there may be a major chapter closing in your love life this doesn't necessarily mean a breakup it could for some but it could also mean that you may be just ending some sort of pattern in your love life again there may be something significant happening in love also you may be ending a creative project too Pisces risings during the first week of the month many of you may be making major travel plans if you are traveling your travels will be going very well your studies should be going very well too so any educational pursuits will work out in your favor some of you may even have new educational plans coming to fruition also you are going to be extremely productive during the first week of the month you'll be getting a lot of work projects and mundane tasks successfully completed done and out of the way so you'll be very proud of all of the work that you were able to accomplish and get done during the first week in the past four months may have been an extreme struggle for you so you had Saturn retrograde in your sign which means that life may have been extremely slow challenging or difficult you may have had delays or challenges in a lot of areas of your life such as your career or your goals your love life etc but these issues are finally going to clear up so whatever issues you've been dealing with over the last four months are finally going to start fading and just completely going away from November 4th to the end of the year so again life was extremely slow and challenging for you more so for you than any other sign because you had Saturn retrograde literally in your sign but 
but from November 4th and onwards, that is going to clear up. Also, you may have found that you weren't getting the recognition that you deserved over the last four months, but from November 4th and onwards, you'll finally be gaining more attention and you'll be getting more positive attention for the work that you do. You'll be gaining more recognition for your accomplishments. Also during the first half of the month, more specifically around the 6th to the 7th, you can expect to have a lot of passion, intensity, obsession, and excitement in your love life. You are going to be extremely magnetic in your love life too, so you may find that a romantic partner, a romantic interest, a crush is very drawn to you during this time. Many of you may even meet someone new in your love life because you are so magnetic, and this magnetism will also apply to other people as well. So you're going to be getting along very well with friends too. You'll find that social settings will be very pleasurable. So overall, the first half of the month will be a very pleasurable time for you. You can expect to have a lot of excitement in your love life, to get along well with your friends, and overall just to be a magnetic force to everyone around you. Everyone is going to be drawn to you, especially in your love life and in your social life. And from November 8th to the end of the month, you will have Venus, the planet of harmony and abundance in your eighth house of investments, joint finances. So you'll find that any financial things that you share with other people or any investments are going to flow very well for you throughout the entire month. And things should generally be going very well for you financially throughout the month, especially in regards to investments. From November 10th to the end of the month, you will have Mercury in your 10th house of career. So you can expect networking in your career to flow very well. And this will be particularly beneficial if you have a job where you talk a lot for example if you're a salesperson and your job is based off of communication you'll find that your communication skills will be able to help get you ahead in your career and overall things should be flowing very well in your career there will be a lot of planning when it comes to your career goals too so there will be a very large focus on your career that will especially be the case from the 23rd to the end of the year when the Sun moves into your Sagittarius 10th house so from the end of November going into December you will find that things are really going to pick up in your career so throughout November, there will be a lot of career planning, talks around your career from the end of November to December. You will find that things are really moving forward with a lot of momentum in your career. You're gaining a lot of success and recognition in the workplace. You're getting ahead in the workplace or your career goals and ambitions are finally coming to fruition. On the 12th, there's a new moon in your Scorpio 12th house of mental health and addiction. So there may be some sort of new beginning when it comes to your mental health, a major mental health breakthrough. You may finally be able to heal yourself from any trauma anxiety depression or addictions that have been plaguing your life you'll also be reconnecting with your spirituality around this time so many of you may even have some sort of beautiful new spiritual awakening or spiritual breakthrough and that will extend into the second half of the month specifically around the 15th to the 21st where there is a lot of mental breakthroughs and you were able to really clear your headspace and create a much more peaceful mindset so from the 12th all the way to the end of the month you'll find that your mental health is drastically improving and by the end of November mental you will be a renewed person however watch out around the 24th to the 27th specifically around the last couple of days of the month you may find that there are some additional restrictions when it comes to trying to accomplish your goals so there may be some roadblocks when it comes to your career ambitions or just trying to accomplish things in general so around the 24th to the 27th watch out for restrictions and delays which can lead to frustration and potentially anger and to end the month on the 27th you have a Gemini full moon in your fourth house of family home living situation so for many of you you may even be re relocating looking to buy a new property or sell an old property if that's not the case you can expect major events to take place in your family life so there may be major things happening with your family there may be a lot of discussion with family members